Look who we got here back on the program. It is Adam Piccolotti, who's got another big fight coming up here against Carrington Banks at Bellator 199 on May 12th in San Jose. Adam, what's going on, man? How are you? Not much. Thanks a lot for having me on, James. Feeling, uh, feeling really excited for this next couple weeks here. Yeah, I bet. And first off, you know, even before we get into the fight, just how excited are you to have this fight in San Jose and, and on this big card with a lot of other, uh, you know, AKA guys? You know what? I, I love fighting in San Jose. There's a moment there where it's like, I haven't fought really away too often. So I was kind of like, yeah, I want to travel and kind of get that experience of fighting away. You know, I would have fought in Oklahoma, which obviously isn't necessarily the uh, destination that you would necessarily choose. Um, but just even just being away for one fight, it made me really thankful to be fighting home. So I, I'm stoked to be in San Jose. Now, I think it would be cool, and they're obviously not going to do this because they, they don't listen to me, but they should put that San Jose Shark shark in the entrance when you guys come out. I think that would be pretty badass. Yeah, man, I'll take it. I'm not the biggest hockey fan, but you know I'm a Sharks fan. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, I, I just think it would be kind of neat because I always thought that's one of the best parts of uh, you know the Sharks being able to, to play there is they, they do have the Shark there. But uh, let's talk about you. I know things didn't go your way in your last fight against David Rickles. It's been a, a couple months now. You know, how do you sort of look back on that performance? What do you sort of take away from that performance and bring it into this fight? Oh, man, I just take away a whole lot of experience, you know. Obviously, the fight didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, I made a handful of critical errors, you know, and, and mainly st st strategically, you know. Um, and overall, just helped me to learn. It helped me to become a better fighter, and I think that I would be able to adapt a lot better. I think that's one thing that I didn't do well that I really needed to work on. And I think um, kind of like fighting some guy with so much experience, it's going to allow me to kind of absorb some of that experience and be able to make an, uh, adaptations myself um, inside of the cage. You know, like I can be outside of the cage and, and say everything that I want to do, but it's inside the cage in that moment, in that 15 minutes that I need to make things happen. Yeah, no, that's a great way of looking at it. And uh, that fight was back in December, and here we are talking about a fight in May. Were you looking to get in there a little bit sooner, or, or are you uh, are you happy just that this all worked out the way it did? Um, It's kind of what it is what it is. You know, I wasn't I wasn't too upset with, like, the time off just because, um, you know, it was a tough fight. Um, obviously, I'm in kind of a weird place with those two fights back to back. So, um, you know, a little bit of time to kind of reassess things, um, really look, look deep inside, look at my camp, look at everything and make sure that, you know, everything is um, to the best that I think it can be. And, and I'll wait an extra month or two to be fighting in San Jose too. And it's another big fight, like I mentioned, Carrington Banks, undefeated, 7-0. and I mean, people remember him from the Ultimate Fighter, but he's also had a really good run in Bellator too. How do you feel like you match up against him? I feel really good, you know. Um, honestly, I feel good against pretty much everybody that they put in front of me. But I, I feel really well with Carrington Banks. Um, you know, I know he's got some good wrestling skills. He's got some some boxing, you know, not to be underestimated. Um, I know he's trained at some good camps. Um, yeah, he's got that Ultimate Fighter experience. He's got a couple good wins in Bellator, but I feel really confident. Um, I think my jiu-jitsu, my striking, and, and even my wrestling is going to be a, a handful for him. And who have been some of the, your uh, main training partners for this camp? Um, well, I was a big, uh, I was part of Khabib's camp, you know, oh, nice. his last fight. Yeah, yeah. I was getting a bunch of rounds with him in, um, as always, when he's home, um, he brings the heat with like at least six or seven lightweights all from Dagestan, you know what I mean? So we get, I get my hands full with all those guys, um, the Islam and. No, no, no problem. Your dog's just a fan of Khabib. I get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, with, with like the Islams and the Manats and, you know, there's a bunch of really tough guys out there that, that, that help a bunch, um. Sparring partner-wise, this time has been a lot of John Fitch. You know, he's preparing for the same night. Um, he's a little bigger than my, than I am, but, you know, we've been getting a lot of really good work in. I think it's been going uh, really well for both of us. You know, I think that um, I've been trying to give him some different looks. He's been definitely giving me some different looks, and, and we're just – it's been awesome. And, it's been and awesome. the confidence level must be at an all-time high. I mean, training with Habib and, you know, being able to, to work with him uh, and, and head into this fight, I mean, you must must be feeling pretty good. Absolutely. You know, um, it's always fun training with Khabib, you know, he's always making me better, um, get to challenge myself with an actual lightweight, you know, with somebody my size. Um, and then, and then, like I said, John Fitch too, you know, he guys a legend in the sport. Not only is like he giving me these awesome rounds, but then afterwards we're talking and going over stuff, you know, and I think that's where a lot of the value is, is really strong as well. Um, I've been working a bunch with, you know, uh, with Josh Thompson, who's, you know, been my friend forever. Um, but hasn't necessarily taken on a, a coaching role kind of as much as, as he has for me in this camp. Um, so you're actually going to see him in my corner this fight. And um, it's been a, that's been a, a little change to this camp that's been freaking, I feel like, 
so invaluable, super invaluable. Yeah, I remember the first time I interviewed Josh Thompson, maybe a couple of years ago, he couldn't stop raving about you. So that's good that you guys are still working together because I know that the respect is definitely there from his end. So yeah, it's been it's been awesome, man. And I've been, you know, taking a little extra time. I I kind of like laid off on one job that I had teaching um, in order to make time to go out there and see him at his gym, you know, Knox gym, um, also in San Jose. Um, but just like just as much extra one on one time and, and time picking his brain as possible. And it's been freaking great. How's the weight cut going? We've got a couple weeks from this fight, but I imagine everything going well. Yeah, so it's so easy right now. <laughs> I feel freaking great. You know, those last that last week obviously sucks, you know, but um, I feel on point right now. My weight's right where it needs to be. Um, so there's definitely no issues on this side. So who else is going to be in your corner for this fight? It's going to be uh, Josh. It's going to be my all time, uh, longtime coach, Raul Castillo. You know, my jiu-jitsu coach, my my really good friend. And then uh, my boxing coach, Hector Fernandez. Oh, cool. Okay, that's a good. Yeah, answer. yeah. He was he's been in my corner the past couple of fights now. So it's going to be the three of them. I think is a pretty uh, pretty nasty combo. What's your contract status with Bellator? How many fights are in your deal? I believe I got um, three or maybe four more after oh, this okay, fight. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I was yeah. I wasn't sure. I always have to I always have to check in because I always forget. It's tough to keep track with all these things, but that's good. Hey, At you least know. you're you know you're in for it. So. <laughs> Me too. I forget as well. Yeah, so it's important. That's good. Um, how do you see this fight playing out on May twelfth? Um, I see my striking really kind of taking the lead in the fight, and um, and just kind of it's like it's like my coach always says like. I, there's parts of me that agree with this and parts that don't, so don't get me wrong. But you got to fight not to lose sometimes, right? So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to battle this guy, but I'm going to shut down everything that he wants to do. If he wants to strike with me, I'm going to shut him down. If he wants to wrestle with me, I'm going to shut him down. And I think I think uh, all my game is just going to be a little too hard for him to handle. I love hearing that. Uh, obviously, oh, I'm just guessing here. Uh, you're probably just taking this from fight to fight as far as what's after this. Just sort of see how the performance goes and then assess it after that. Absolutely. For me, there's no after, there's no day after May 12th. It is May 12th, and that is the only day left um, in this lifetime for me. So I just have to go out there and perform like I know I can. You know, I have to go out there and just turn it on for that 15 minutes, and and hopefully make it shorter than 15 minutes, and and do my thing, and then we can think about that. Now you didn't think we wouldn't get through this interview without talking some video games. That's where we're gonna end things here. Uh, what are you playing right now? What, what's on the what's on the docket these days? Um, so I've been, you know, I kind of always go back to my classic nerdy World of Warcraft. That's kind of like my home base for video games. Um, but I did just buy and download the uh, God of War, the newest oh, God awesome. of War. It's okay. supposed to be amazing. So I'm actually saving that so I can bring my PlayStation uh, to the hotel with me and knock that thing out during fight camp or fight week. Yeah. See, this guy has his priorities straight. I mean, you got to bring the video system with you because, again, you've got the media stuff and you're cutting weight and all this stuff, but you need that distraction to kind of get your mind off things. Otherwise, you go Dude, stir crazy. I was just me and my phone and like a hotel TV. I would go crazy. Yeah. And hotel know? TV sucks. I mean, let's be honest here. It's, it's you know, or even as a Canadian, we get pretty bad cable here. But even going to the States, I mean, it's ESPN and CNN and that, that's it. I mean, there's nothing really. So. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take it fast. So yeah, like I said, I got God of War ready to go. One of my one of the best franchises I believe in uh, video game history. Um, I've been a huge fan, and it's it's hard for me not to you know pick it up right now. But it'll be worth it. What about uh, Netflix or Hulu or anything you watch on any TV right now? Um, yeah, we're kind of split on a bunch of things. Obviously, um, Westworld just came out the second season. Freaking first season was amazing. You know, we just watched that first episode. Uh, of the second season so i'm really excited for that every i think sunday or monday something like that um and then we actually just started a netflix um <clears throat> a show because me and my girlfriend are both greek and so it's like uh, all the greek stuff like all that like roman greek whatever like it's very like it always like clicks with us right so we just started a netflix series troy oh cool i've heard good things yeah. about it i gotta check it out Dude, it's like we're like two episodes deep. They're long episodes, but I mean, I, I'm cool with that. It's it's pretty badass so far. I'm definitely a fan. So that thing, I think between those two, that's gonna keep us going for a little while. I'll we'll have to check it out. Uh, if it gets the Adam Piccolotti recommendation, I, I definitely have to uh, to tune yeah. into it because I know you got good taste <laughs> in video games. So I'm assuming TV is the good thing, uh, same thing. So, but in the meantime, we got to watch Bellator 199. It's coming up here May 12th live on Paramount Network. Adam, it's uh, always good talking to you, man. Just uh, remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shoutouts, man, the floor is yours. Awesome, thank you, James. Um, First of all, find me on social media, you guys, at Adam Piccolotti, P-I-C-C-O-L-O-T-T-I. -O -O -T -T um, I'm sure it'll be spelled out for you guys somewhere. Um, yeah, that's on Instagram. That's on Twitter. Uh, that's on Facebook. Um, I'm, I've been trying to be super active, especially on Instagram. Um, I've been super interactive with people. I got a, a lot of people all around the world hitting me up. 
um, kind of like asking me for advice and stuff like that. I love it, guys. So just keep it coming, keep it flowing. I, I'd I'd be happy to chat with you. Um, also, huge shout out to all my sponsors. First of all, Ko Reps, those guys, you know, kind of rounding the troops and and um, and making sure everybody's on board. But uh, on it has always been a huge sponsor of mine. Eight Man Strong, always looking out. Smart Stop is going to be helping me out this fight. We just got a new guy on, bo- on board, Verdura Construction. You guys are the man. Thank you. Half of May Goldworks, local businesses. Uh, Fruit Juice, you guys are always looking out. And I think that's about it for now. I'll leave it at that. What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.